the a new, setting an email. So this is what it looks like when you click new email. Um, this is what you're going to actually click to send it. If you click on this, you have an option to find people in our district. Um, so you can find students, you can find teachers, you can find lots of people through that. DC means copy. So if you wanted to, let's say uh, you were emailing a group in our class that we're working on a project, but you wanted to make sure I saw it, you might CC me on it so that I can see whatever you guys talk about. Um, BCC means a blind copy. So you might put my name on there if you were trying to maybe tell a student like, hey, or a classmate, hey, can you make sure you're doing this part of your work this week? Um, just so I know that you have actually like initiated contact first, um, but you don't want that other person to know that you necessarily copied me on it. That would be a way that you might use a blind CC or a BCC. The subject line, like we talked about earlier, should be about six to eight sentences, or sentences, <laughs> that's not right, six to eight words. Um, and then here is our actual document. So if I type things, um, if you go to message, you can actually change the font size, just like a Word document. Um, there's tons of stuff like that. You can attach a file here, so there will have recent documents here that you can do. Um, so that'd be one way to attach a file. Uh, you can attach a business card or a calendar item or an Outlook item. You can create your own signature so that you don't have to write um, sincerely Miss Byrne at the end of all your emails. I tend to use that a lot. Um, there is another spot that's an insert spot where you can attach your, make an attachment. So when you make an attachment, the first thing you want to do is make sure to say in your email somewhere, I have attached blank. That way they know they need to look for an attachment. Sometimes if they're looking at it on a phone or something, they might not see it. So please make sure you do that. Also make sure you actually attach it. I cannot tell you how many times I have sent an email and been like, oh, I attached a document. And then I realized I never actually attached it. So. I always attach it as soon as I write this, so that way I know that I've done it. So remember, you can either go to message and hit attach file and then click on whatever it is, or you can go to insert and attach it. This is going to be your recent items, but you can also browse the PC or you can browse web locations. I've never done that, but you would just look through your OneDrive. Um, but I usually would do it through my PC, so I hit browse, and then you just pick whatever you want to attach that's not gonna see. maybe I want to attach a picture and then there it is and then I would type in whoever I wanted to send it to if you know the email you can type it in or again you can use the search function um, I'm not going to show you that on here because it will show students names so I don't want to do that um, I hope that was helpful. If you ever get lost too, there's other options. So there's options, which helps you with themes and um, a bunch of other stuff. If you want to format, you can do it this way. Um, and then review does all the spell check and stuff like this. You can also search in here if you're really confused and not sure how to do something and it'll give you a step-by-step -step on how to do it or just show you what to do. Um, all right. I hope that was helpful and have a fantastic day.